Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner and welcome back to another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. We're here in the Hunter's Lodge of Tatooine, so let's continue speaking with some of these hunters. What can I do for you? Hmm? Did my wife send you? This ain't about credits, is it? I'm looking for experts. You seem knowledgeable. Oh, of course. Who put you up to this, my wife? I meant what I said about having no credits. I want to ask who you are and what it is you do. Well, my name is Tannis, and what I do is hunt. I'm sure you've heard of me. Well, actually, I hope you haven't. How long have you been at this? Too long. But it beats smuggling. You ever run into a Sith dreadnought in the desert? No, you haven't. You crossed paths with a Sith dreadnought? Hell, I married her. <laughs> no, no, seriously now. I had this friend that crossed Sith space and got stripped of everything. It's not like I have much now, I guess, but I still prefer sand people to getting ambushed on unproven trade routes. You go on about your wife a lot. What's the deal? Ah, she doesn't understand me. You know the drill. It's not my fault. She knew who I was when she married me. Let's go back to my first questions. Fine, fine, whatever you want. I have... I'm looking for something. Who knows this planet best? Who knows the planet? I don't know. I guess the sand people. I'm usually running when I see him, though. What about the Jawas? Uh, have you ever seen the Sand People with anything odd? Uh, sure. My blood. They almost got me last year. Tore up two of my battle droids. Wife was mad about that. <laughs> Took her weeks to fix. Where they got weapons to cut battle armor, I don't know. They act like animals, but they can surprise you. What about the Jawas? Smart traders. They've salvaged and sold me my own damaged droids once or twice. They don't say much I can understand. I think they're a little slow, but who am I to judge, huh? <laughs> okay. Good hunt. What else? Faza Utral. Well, a new face. Come to test your skill on the endless dunes of Tatooine, Faza's Lodge, something. This world may not have much, but it does have the meanest predators this side of the Galactic Rim, a hunter's paradise. I have something to sell you. I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to even look at what you have until I see a hunting license. Zerka Corporation rules. The other hunters all, all have theirs. I can't make exceptions or I'll get shut down. Anything out of the ordinary happening? You mean here on Tatooine or just in general? I heard about the destruction of Terrace, don't know anything specific. I'm not surprised something like it happened. I remember the Exarchoon War and how S Sith and Jedi something don't have much interest in either group, both act like they're above my concerns, and I guess they are. Know about anything more local? Ah, Zirka Corporation is always complaining about sand people. I stay out of it. We hunt animals, not people. And I guess the Jawas are being pushed around again. At least that's what I think they said. Tough to tell sometimes. You'll have to talk to these groups yourself for more. I keep to myself. Okay. What about you, kudos? Hello, human. Are you a hunter like the others here? Not a lie for me, but I admire you for it. What do you do? I fill the days with get. No, 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 not Pazak. I'm out of here. Okay, let's get the hunting license. That human woman. I'm outraged at her arrogance. You, do all of your species place yourselves on such annoying pedestals? I'm sorry, what are you talking about? You should be sorry for sharing a species with that, that creature. I swear, Helena must be your word for pit rancor. Helena? Bashila, isn't that your mother's name? Her mother was supposed to be here somewhere. Ask if they've seen her. Seen her? Human, you couldn't miss her if you tried. She strolled into the cantina like she owned the place. Is she still there? Probably, I don't think anyone else could top her attitude, so she won't be leaving. I won't be back until she's there, though. We try to find her. Uh, while she's there, though. You're actually looking for her? You humans, you're all out of your minds. Sand crawler mechanic. I don't have a lot of time for talk, so please make it quick. 
I don't think he knows anything useful. Ah, Zerka office. Just what I wanted. You'll be hearing about this, you Zerka puppet. I'm not going to let this drop. You can't just murder a whole village. And don't tell me to take my concerns to your corporate kiosk. I know what I'm not wanted. What's going on here? Who are you? I've done talking in this office. They aren't interested in listening to me. I doubt they will even acknowledge I was here. Typical corporate evasion. That's what happens when they own everything. No accountability. Don't even bro bother bring it in, bringing it up. Okay. Hey there, Miss Protocol Officer. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. I'm looking for a miner named Griff. Griff? Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. Are you certain of that? I would leave sooner if I knew. Oh, you mean that Twi'lek? Must have slipped my mind for a second. Yes, of course I remember Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. Yeah, that sounds like him. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the Sand People wouldn't have gotten him. Sand people? He was lost in a sand people raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. So, your workers are all expendable? Zerka Corporation cares deeply for all of its employees. That's why we've started a bounty program to thin the sand people numbers. We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Is there some type of reward for saving him? As I said, all employees have signed waivers absolving Zerka Corporation of any financial liability if this occurs. It is the industry standard. I suppose you could apply for a special dispensation from the Zerka Corporation representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours only, please. Never mind, I want to ask you about something else. Very well. So I do have work to get back to. I want to ask about hunting licenses. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. There is no way to get a license? Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Why pay for the gaffy sticks? Why not their heads? Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Besides, they're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. It's just as good. I will agree to do this for you. Excellent. Now. Just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here is your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Let's get back to my first questions. Very well, though I do have work to get back to. Anything out of the ordinary happening? I assume that by out of the ordinary you're referring to the destruction of Terrace? That is all anyone is talking about. I'm afraid Zerka Corporation is not offering any comment on those events. We wouldn't wish to anger the participants. No desire to mistakenly associate with the losing side, huh? Zerka Corporation policy is not subject to your approval. It is a sound business model. Save us your commentary. Know, anyth know about anything more local? If you're looking for local events, I suggest you go to the Swoop Track, one of the few leisure industries on Tatooine. Hmm. There was also a Jawa here earlier, saying something about needing help. I think he's out by the city gates. I can't be more specific about what he wanted. Our droid translators had difficulty with the message. I have to go. Goodbye. Farewell. Zerka Corporation welcomes your future inquiries. Okay, got the hunting license. What about you? 
Yes, what is it? If this is about mining or sand people, you go to the Zerka officers. I just manage the storehouse. I want to ask about bounties. Not my affair. You want to hunt for Zerka Corporation, you talk to the protocol officer. What do you have available per, for purchase? Mostly just standard Zerka provisions and supplies, not enough to keep the locals happy. Have a look. Life support packs, computer spikes, could use some of these. Grenades, yeah, nothing out of the ordinary here. Don't you believe a word of what Zerka Corporation said in there? There is always a peaceful solution to conflict. They are just lazy. Is this about Zerka wanting the Sand People Chieftain killed? So, you are the killer that they hired. Just going to walk out there and wipe them out? I'd expect no less from fools. The Sand People aren't animals. I've watched them. And their intelligence. Their there must be a way to peacefully stop the attacks, I know it. But no one will try, of course. You can't even leave the city without Zerka approval and they want to send people dead. Why would you know any better? Perhaps I'm no expert on diplomatic situations, but I know when there is a lack of due care for the environment and the residents of it. What would you have done? To the sand people it must have seemed like an invasion. There were no negotiations for territory or resources. I don't think the killing has been justified, but as a cons conservationist I'm hoping someone at least tries to talk this out. What would you suggest then? Communication. If we could just speak to them, but they don't talk, at least not in any language an average translator can understand. There was even a Jedi here a few years ago that couldn't seem to get through to them. I think that ended in blood too. I'm not saying it would be easy, but someone has to try. Maybe with the real translation droids, not these old protocol scrap heads walking around. Who would have a capable droid? They are pretty rare, even on well-stocked worlds. But I'm sure I heard something about an, unu an unusual droid in the shop here on Tatooine. I'm sure I heard Yuka Laka say that it could speak a Sand People dialect, although he'd say r Rust something. With that droid maybe you could talk to them, I wouldn't survive, maybe with desert ropes as a disguise someone could get into their enclave. Where would you get ropes to match theirs? I suppose you could take them off of the warrior raiders in the Dune Sea, but there's no way I'd survive anything like that. Plus, you would have to explain why you kill their warriors if you are trying to make peace, but I suppose there is no other way. Maybe I'll look into it. Sure, that's what Zerka Corporation keeps saying, and then they just start shooting again. The fighting won't stop until they are all dead, or until the Zerka leave. The one, the one is as likely as the other with the way things are going. Ah, what do I know? Okay, now let's see if I could sell this. Well now, did I, see, did I see you take the big prize in the last round of races on Manan? What brings you here now? I have something to sell you. So I see, that's the biggest desert raid skull plate I've seen in a season. Whoever got that was a skilled hunter. I'll give a premium prize on that one. I have a buyer that put in a special request. Does 500 credits sound fair? Yes, that'll do nicely. I thought it would. Do you have anything else to sell? That's it for now. Now, let's avoid Kandorous disapproval. You are back. Please, have you sold the plate I gave you? My children and I are counting on the credits. Yes, I have sold the plate. You have? Did Faza give you a good price? How much did you get for us? Let's be a super nice guy. He paid 200 more than you thought. Here, 
Seven hundred credits. Oh, thank you. It is more than generous of you. I don't know what to say. I just don't. Thank you for helping this woman. It may not seem like such a great thing to you, but you are making a difference. Hmm. And how many more like you are there out there with no one to buy their plates, I wonder? For whatever it means, may the Force be with you. You saved us. Okay, gained some light points. It feels like it's it's at the same level every single time. Okay, we're done with that for now. Let's see. Oh, Chawas! Swoop registration. Nico Garm Yukaril. So these are probably competitors as well. Track coordinator and Mota the Hut. Who are you? Ah, nobody. What do you want, huh? Handouts? Go dig a mine, fool. I'm looking for information. Can you help? Not interested in helping, only interested in racing. I get enough beggars through here looking for money. Let's have a look at you, hmm. Just a human, nothing really special. You race? Maybe on a swoop? I raced on Manan. That's great. Except I don't care. Let me rephrase the important part of my question. Do you own your own swoop? I have my own bike stored on my ship. You got a bike, then you can race. I don't care about experience so long as you can get out on the track. And if you crash and burn, that's your problem. I just need warm bodies to pad the roster between the pros. Uh, there is the matter of a small track maintenance fee, 100 credits. Why not drop the fee? No racers means no crowds. Well, I suppose you're right, but I'm not dropping it the whole amount. 50 credits, that's it. I'll pay the 50 credits. Good, that shows you mean business. Now you can use the track for recreational runs, or I can give you an official race right away. Just ask me when you want to start, and there's some business I need help with if you're serious about promoting racing. All in due time. Just set me up with the race. Certainly, we just need to clear up the positioning fee. All racers pay the same before each officially timed race. 100 credits. I already paid a maintenance fee. The fee is due before each race. How else am I supposed to sponsor prize money at the level I do? I need to see some returns. I'm investing in my riders, but I also need to see profit now. You'll agree with my logic. If you don't, you don't race. I will pay the 100 credits. Fine, fine. We'll have your bike brought to the starting position. Let's see what level of race we should give you. You'll go against Garm. Totril's time in the first tier. He's a local boy new to the sport. The time to beat is 23.90. Soup racing fans, we have an official race about to commence. Make some noise for this new contender. Okay. 
Okay. 2390, was it? Yeah, we did a lot better than that. You've passed the first tier and have earned 10 racing bonds. Not a bad showing for a beginner. You beat Garm's time easily. Take this with my thanks. We'll see if you can do any better in tier 2. I want to talk about the rewards for racing. Ah, I set up a quick a quick three-tier system so people know where they stand. I pay for the first time to reach each tier. What does each tier pay? Tier 1 is 10 racing bonds, tier 2 I pay 30 racing bonds, tier 3 I give 80 racing bonds. We'll agree the amount is fair. I pay each level only once, I'm not here to support you, I only pay to encourage constant improvement. What are racing bonds? Racing bonds are monetary notes I, I issue so vendors know who my friends are. Any merchant will buy them. Each bond is worth 60 credits, give or take. It depends on the merchant. I'll be back later. Okay, let's race again. Let me up with the race. Yeah, 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 100 credits. Yukaril is the current leader, time to beat 23-29. Okay, 23-29. I will just do the same as last time and we should be good. stands a chance. You passed the second tier and have earned 30 racing bonds. I'm beginning to think it was a mistake to sign you up. I suppose you'll be up against my local pro attractions in tier 3 next. You've already ruined your career. Just set me up with the race. Yeah, positioning fee... Against Zori's Bafka. Time to beat 22-51. We can easily beat that. Wait, did I do it? I think I messed up the ending there. Oh, I did it. It's a big payout for you, you shattered my track record and took tier 3. 80 racing bonds was the deal. That's the last I'll be giving you, I hope. You're too fast for most of my racers. Uh, what sort of business do you need help with? I make my money off of signing good racers. Good ones, not great ones. I want them young and stupid. 
I've got one, Nico Senvi. Great potential, only started racing a year ago and loves it. He lives for it now. And? Sounds like you have something special. What do you want help with? What I want is simple. I want Nico to sign a contract with me. And I want you to convince him. I'll pay well. Why won't he sign? The deal basically says that I fund his bike and repairs. But in return, I take a hefty cut of his winnings. And you're surprised that the boy doesn't want to sign? He knows it's harsh, but he can't afford to go pro on his own, and he doesn't want to give up racing. I've got him where I want him, I just need you to give him a little push in the right direction or a big shove. I think you should give him a, be a better deal. You're not going to pull that typical soup jockey attitude, are you? This is business and I know what's best. What do you care whether I make money off the kid or not? He wants to race and you'll get paid. We all win. Treat him fairly or I'll start rumors your races are rigged. You wouldn't. That would be bad, very bad. Even rumors like that could keep me out of the pro circuit. Alright, I'll give him a better deal and make it back in the long run, long run, I guess. You, of course, are not getting paid. I trust this is the last I will have to hear about this matter. Was there anything else? Okay, let's see. Do I still have to do the quests? Oh, hi. You another racer then? I heard someone new was talking to Mata. Always room for more, I guess. Nice job beating my times, too. I guess my heart isn't in the racing. Contracts are distracting stuff. I talked to Moda about you. I suppose you've got a right to know track business, but with the times you've been posting. I convinced Moda to give you a better contract. You did? I don't believe it. I mean, I do, but I sure wasn't expecting it. I appreciate it. I really do. Now I can take my bike to the big races. There's not much of a circuit right now, but I'll be ready when it recovers. When do you think you'll be leaving? Hard to tell. I'll get some more runs here first. I need to practice. I have to top your time. Thanks again. I meant it. Let's talk about that business with Nico. Oh no, I'm not talking to you about that anymore. I agree to strange things when you are around, that's for sure. Nico's got the best deal I've ever given, no lie. Now leave so I can figure out how to still make money off this. Okay. So Zori's Bafka, Yukaril. Yeah, these are, are all the racers. You, you're the one. You beat Tori's Bafka's time. I have to get your auto prints. What? My auto prints? Are you serious? Sure I am. You are fast for a human and once the races are running regular again, you'll be famous. Well, maybe you will. If you start winning on the real tour, I want to be able to say I saw you when you were just starting out. How about it? Sure, why not? Scan away. Really? That is great of you. You'll be a fan favorite. Some of the racers sell their prints, but that is just rude. Okay. 
Here, just put your hand on this pad. Thanks again. I know I'll be seeing more of you, human. Unless this is all a trap for me to give him my... Auto print. To give him my print so he can use it for nefarious deeds. And there are some dark Jedi. Right there in the open. But we'll deal with them next time. For now, it's time to end the episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed another uh, episode of Knights of the Old Republic. And I'll see you all next time.